Hello and welcome to a stadium that has a wonderfully old-fashioned feel to it, Goodison Park. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Everton up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And here's the team for Everton. Jordan Pickford begins in goal. James Tarkovsky plays alongside Connor Cody in central defence. Abdoulaye Ducouré plays alongside Idrissa Gay in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Dominic Calvert-Lewin. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Tyrone Mings plays alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. Douglas Luis plays alongside Bubakar Kamara in the centre of midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Number 23, Seamus Coleman. Thank you. Enjoy the game here at Goodison Park. And this confrontation is underway. Calvert Lewin. Possession one. Emiliano Buendia. It's with Camara. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Really important piece of last ditch defending. a go and a fine stop and now the delivery a very effective clearance not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag relatively straightforward to mop up defensively Tremendous block. Firing it towards goal. Another block. And Everton have it back now. Well, straight out of play by the goalkeeper. And it'll be a throw in. The ball lost here. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, a foul, but no yellow card at this early stage, in the opinion of the referee. Well, he might just be lucky it's so early on. He'll have to be careful now. Well, he was, he's in behind. Smart stop. Well, they fancy a short one. Fine cross into the middle. Still not clear. Not problematic for the keeper. Had a play then for a Villa throw in. Options in the middle. Just the challenge that was required. And a corner kick, the referee's verdict. Delivering it. Well, no problems defensively. It did look on for them, but not to be. 
are getting the ball forward. Magnificent defending. McNeil. It's with Tukure. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. In possession to give them the lead, maybe. Real chance. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Trying to pick out a teammate. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. And in the end, no damage done. Buendia. Quick ball almost all along the ground. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. He will be. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. Not quite what they were working on in training this week. Really good challenge. Nikolenko. Havert Lewin. Well, the supporters think it's on. Well, you have to say, a disappointing attempt. Yeah, he didn't set himself properly for that, which resulted in a pretty poor effort, you have to say. Aston Villa regaining possession. Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. Watkins. Oh, great attacking play. He's got to score. And it's in. 1 0. They've breached the defence. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. So Everton restart the game, well aware that the pressure has been applied. How will they respond? A foul, but advantage played. Idrissa Gay. Nicely timed tackle. Well, as you can see, Villa are seeing much less of the ball, but what they've done with it has been really good, and they'll be happy... With Hang the on a minute, Stuart. Opportunity unfolding. Gives it a go. A gift for any goalkeeper. He's in behind. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. And the referee now going back to deal with the earlier incident. A yellow card it's going to be. Cody. It's with Ducure. And continues his run. But really sticking to the task defensively. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Able to deal with the threat. Determined defending. So nearing the half-time interval, and it's Everton narrowly behind here. Stuart, interested to get your take as regards their first-half performance. Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. Could be! Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, they've won the ball back quickly. Oh, good-looking run. McNeil. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Can they hit on the break? This looks promising out wide.
Well, time is up as far as the first half is concerned here on Merseyside. So the two teams have switched around and the second half is underway. In with a chance. Well, only just wide of the post. Cody and now Gay Calvert-Lewin Gay and the keeper did more than enough can someone get on the end of this and first class defending cleared off the line well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Well, spot on with that challenge. Ducouré. Might be a chance here. And it goes! The leveller! Thrilling stuff here! Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. Ollie Watkins. Now far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Bailey. And in with a real chance. It's still alive. Well, no damage done. Well, they might be piling on the pressure, but they've got to make it count in those situations, that's for sure. He's in here. Well, hey! Well, it might still work out for them. And in the end, no damage done. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Really good challenge. And foul it is then. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. From one side of the pitch to the other. And a tidy ball. It is a decent looking attack here. McNeil delivered into the box. Pressing high, and they have the ball again. Ducouré. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. So a personnel change then. Well, those stats tell you what a good game this has been. We've seen a lot of good attacking play, plenty of goal mouth action, and all done at a high tempo. It's been very entertaining so far. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. He's found a pocket of space. Firing it towards goal! Oh, a good diving save. Who's going to get on the end of it? And the danger's still on. And the keeper able to hold on to it. Mikolenko. Into the final 20 minutes. Promising looking attack from Everton, but they dealt with the threat posed. It will be! What a genuine opportunity, but it was squandered. Goal kick. And time for the change now.
A sloppy pass. Esri Konsa. Ashley Young. Not showing good vision. And he's broken free. And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. And well, they're going for the short one. And the ball back with Villa now. Over the touchline for what will be an Everton throw. Dukure. Onana. Can they nudge in front late on here? Well, the supporters think it's on. No way through. Well, no real accuracy. And easy for the keeper. Calvert-Lewin. Can he put them in front? He does! And with so little time left, that might be the winner. Wonderful drama. Well, let's look at this again. And the keeper just lost his bearings there. He was never in the right position. He won't want to see that again. Well, a dramatic moment near the end. And that might well be the decider. Well, still time for them to level it. but really sticking to their task defensively. McNeil. Onana. And now Dominic Carvert-Lewin. This could pose problems for the defenders. And quite simply, wide of the target. Ashley Young. Delightful pass. Well, the attack showed promise, but easy work for the keeper in the end. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Idrissa Gay. Idrissa Gay. Shot attempted. Well, tremendous block. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. So the referee blows for full time, and it's an Everton success story, whatever way you look at it. Three points for the Toffees. What did you think of their performance? Well, they were so much better going forward today. There was more movement, more forward runs, and some good individual performances. They just played with far more freedom. It's a great result for them.